broken <laughs> branches. He came dead, through here. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. There's been a bull through here. White hair. It was a white bull. Heavy ranching. This is a seek and destroy mission where we have to go find the white bull and bring him back. Not destroy him. He might destroy us. It's touch and go. That's heavy ranching. Let's go get him. Guess we'll go down that alley because we can see into the back right there through the alley. We better make sure he's not in here somewhere, like behind a trailer. You find some signs? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was, that's what I was. Yeah, he's just back here somewhere. It's not a good way to secure a spot at Radiator Ranch. Luckily, in his case, Ty really likes getting on it, so. Watch out for that pipe. Taking him down this fence and we're gonna let him uh, go into the wheat field. He'll think that he's sneaking out, but instead of pushing him to the main gate, we'll kind of take him in this back gate where he feels like he's getting away. The only problem is he just heard me say our plan. I do that jujitsu too. I keep announcing the plan, what I'm about to do to Cole. Get it, team. <laughs> and I'm gonna tap. She's bugger out. I've been wanting to for a minute. Rodeo. <laughs> he wants to be a bridal boy. Yeah. <laughs> Catching brought to you by Total Feed. Keeping your man bucket head. Drunk up to withstand the storm that is Ty Monster Boom. Big props to Mr. Ty Rogers for noticing. Hey, we're missing a bull. Get a head count on them every day, boys. We didn't handle it. Shut up, Cole. Cole got given a strike this morning. Oh, oh, given? Yeah. Take it. Uh, take it. I tried to. <laughs> <laughs> it was tape. Doesn't mean it. So I was trying to take the tape off. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I got like fell in this little hole. He came at me, but he like kind of went to the I right of me, and I just you. pushed I off. He was going for that bull. No, he. These bulls, uh, at any given point, a lot of these bulls have uh, tried to hook. Someone, definitely the Red Bull. The Black Bull is the meanest one we have. Tony only during the ride. Pet also during the ride, sometimes in the pen. And then this Red Bull, he's not really all that mean unless it's the other bulls. But what we think happened, that White Bull over there that just um, tried to fight Skeletor and almost knocked down Joe, 
did knock down Joe, almost ran over Joe. We couldn't find him this morning. What we think happened is he came over this corner after he got in a fight with one of these bulls in here. They hooked him over. It's a little built up right here. And they hooked him over this corner. Come see the evidence, Donnie. See all the white? And then right here. That, parent, that branch is broken. Broken branches. <sighs> broken Come. branches. He came dead, through here. Dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. There's been a bull through here. White hair. It was a white bull. Anyhow, these pins are uh, being built. So if they were finished, he would have just gone into the next pin. But they've got a little bit of time left on them yet. So that's what we think happened. I bet it was the Red Bull that started it. The Red Bull doesn't get along very well with others. I guess he gets along with these four. Jordan's all shook up. She almost got hooked right there. Got all kinds of thumbnails for this video. <laughs> been talking oh yeah what you been talking about well cole mostly been talking about. yeah what's about cole been talking about a bunch about of ideas how, how terrible this is and how it's just not gonna work the fence uh, did not say that at all. to be honest it looks a whole lot more salvageable than i anticipated so the whole reason those bulls are even in the trap behind the buck and shoots is because they keep getting out of their little two acre trap over here they keep jumping this crappy fence that cole put up Look at this. This looks like if Cole were a fence, this is what he'd be. Right, Cole? That's a good one. That's a pretty good one, huh? I rolled Cole up this morning multiple times. You know what? He's a striped white belt. And he doesn't let me beat him because I'm his boss. I legitimately beat him, right? That's, that's, right. dude, that's what we're going to say. So they keep camera. getting into the wheat field, but as you can see, there's no wheat. We're actually planting some grass. I'm no farmer though. Don't put me on a tractor. So we got the neighbors doing that. These these legs here, they're made for dangling. Not walking or driving a tractor. You hear me? They're made for roping bulls on the first loop. Y'all better not have put the first two misses in there, by the way. Are you, are you not wanting to go in any further, guys? Deeper? Going in very quickly. Keep hammering on it. it. Went in a lot quicker when Cole hit it. I think I got it past the hard stuff. That's, that's what it was. Yeah, stuff. that's what it was. You know, the ground will get softer if you put water on it. Where'd you learn that? My grandfather told me that. I'm in the danger zone. Hello? I'm in the danger zone. If he would miss right now and like, it could either get him or me. Seen it happen once. What's the names? He missed it? Roll, uh, cut to the footage. Yep. Oh, you are so good at this. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. We're seeing a couple different techniques here. Donnie likes to let go of it. Carson holds it outstretched like like an infant. Is there a right or wrong way? No real no, way. No way. Expensive. Is this fence going to be fixed enough for them to knock it out? Probably not. Yep. Jordan, did you really just avoid the T-post pounding and now you've got fencing advice? Yes. This two and a half feet of Page wire should be enough to <laughs> really slow a bull down. Make sure you're on this side of the T post. We're trying to keep bulls in, in here. Thank you, Donnie. Not the wheat field out. Next time somebody on the internet says Dilbury's being a cowboy, see for yourself. Thank you, Cole. There was one guy who just said Dilbrisby is in no way, shape, or form like 
has been or ever will be a cowboy. It was like, that's a big, like, that's a big stretch of time. You know what I mean? I mean not like, even a little bit. Yeah. I think what bothers me more though, is if you're going to insult us on the internet, just like spell words correctly. There you go. Hey, man, that's, that's easy. not that important. Like I'm pretty sure this troll is on it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way that he spelled association. <laughs> Good job, everybody. We got some more trees cut down. I want to do it in April rather than July. I don't want to do it at all. Okay, the fence is fixed. We're going to put these bulls back in the trap, see if they'll uh, stay here this time, uh, or at least until they just uh, breathe on it. This old fence. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. I don't think they're getting out. A coal sized bull wouldn't be able to, at least. Full day of light to moderate ranching. I don't, would that be ranch rodeoing? Because it's a rodeo bull that we had to ranch on? Gotta be. So it's kind of like a ranch rodeo today. The Radiator Ranch Rodeo Team. Coming maybe, soon. Maybe it's the start of something. Don, you want to ride our bronc? You know, I'm already on another team. What? What team are you on? I'm not supposed to say. You know what, get out of my outro. Anyways. We're on to the next one. Thanks for watching this episode of Rodeo Time. We got the bull in. We got him caught. All thanks to Dale Brisby's fancy shooting. One loop. All right, go with that. When you edit this video, don't show him the missus. We're on to the next one. Another day. <laughs> Sage is uh, on to the next one. His spring rodeo season is wrapping up and he's headed back north. He's been staying down here for a couple of months, him and J.R. Verzane in the Airbnb, and keeping their horses here. So we won't get to see that little scooter scooting across the ranch every morning whenever he comes over here to feed. On to the next one. <laughs> On to the next one. Right when we got used to it. Yeah, right when we got used to it.